My name is Carrie Franks. I'm the MedTech teacher from Bowser High School with TPS. It is a two-year program. It is juniors and seniors, so you have to apply your sophomore year. Your first year as a junior is a medical terminology course, and that offers college credits. It's also anatomy and physiology. Second year as a senior is where all the magic happens, where STNA certification happens, CPR certification happens, and where the students also earn their phlebotomy certification. It's pretty hard work. It's very rewarding though, and there is a lot of things that the students can get. They get to go into the hospitals, do a lot of surgical observations, and things of that nature in the medical field. Hi, my name is Kennedy Williams. I'm here at Bowser High School in the medical technology program. A typical day for a student will be um, to come in, learn your medical technology, we learned the, all the medical terms. Um, we went over body anatomy, so like the muscular system, the heart. During your senior year, it's more hands-on. It's like you start earning your license. So you have your STNA and you start doing skills on the mannequins that's in the classroom and you do clinicals, which is where you actually go into the nursing homes and work on people. Then you have phlebotomy, which you can either use your classmates or practice your skills on a mannequin to um, help you be able to sit for your test. An ideal candidate for the medical technology program is somebody who is motivated, obviously somebody who wants to be in the medical field. You need to be compassionate. You need to like to work with people, willing to get your hands a little bit dirty and get into the nitty gritty, because we do go into the field and we do do hands-on patient care. Don't think just because you don't have great grades that you can't be in my program. My instructor, Ms. Franks, she's very, she's very helpful. Um, she has opened us up to a lot of opportunities, from job opportunities. She helps you out a lot. All you have to do is just op like openly go talk to her. She's never going to turn you away. She's very respectful. So when you come out of the medical technology program, you should have your STNA certification, CPR certification, and phlebotomy certification. If you are not somebody who wants to go right into college, you are career ready with ready to go right out into the field and work for our local hospitals. Um, if you are somebody who wants to go to college, you have the medical knowledge already behind you, but let's not forget that you have those certifications to get that job, so that once you get that job, that place can then offer you tuition reimbursement. I have many students that right now are going to our local colleges for nursing, Mercy College, Owens, UT, but I also have some working right with Mercy St. V's and then some right at ProMedica Toledo Hospital. So they all have great jobs. They have such a great future in front of them. Really, the possibilities are endless with what they get in the medical technology program. After graduation, I'll be attending BGSU to major in a criminal justice field to become a forensics investigator. Since I learned the anatomy of the body in this class, it will help me with that field. So if you are interested in joining the medical technology program, and maybe you're not sure, come in, come talk to me, come talk to our teachers, talk to your counselors, give it a try. There are no shortage of medical jobs in our area. You will definitely have opportunities to work outside of school with what MedTech can give you. Just stay focused, get your work done, never be afraid to ask for help. The work can get difficult, but as long as you ask for help and stay very focused, you should be fine. There's so much to offer here, college credit, certifications, and we just have a ton of fun in this class. I definitely recommend joining this class. It helps you get a great start on your journey. Come join because I think you're gonna love it.